Welcome to this palms demonstration video on how to make your own sundial. This is the first in a series of three videos, each showing how to make a different type. This video will show you how to make a nodal sundial and try and find out how accurate they are. Sundials have been used since ancient times to show the passing hours of a day. There is evidence of Egyptian and Roman civilizations using a variety of devices and many other societies also have a history of using the sun to tell time. But before we start, a couple of safety notes. Don't forget to protect yourself from the sun when working outside with a hat and sunscreen and never stare directly at the sun. A nodal sun dial design uses a thin vertical or upright object to cast a shadow on a base with measured angles to show solar hours. To make a nodal sundial, you'll need thick paper or card, a protractor, a ruler, a sharp pencil or pen, an eraser, blue tack, plasticine or play-doh, an extra pencil, a compass or a phone compass app, and a clock or a watch. The first step is to prepare the base of the sundial. To do this, we'll need to do some maths. To make the base, we're going to need to divide 180 degrees into 12 segments that will represent 12 hours. How many degrees is each segment going to be? Each segment will be 15 degrees. It's best to use a pencil for the next part so you can erase any mistakes, but we'll show you using a pen as it shows up a bit more clearly on the video. Take a piece of paper and rule a straight line at the bottom of the page, just up from the bottom a little. This is the baseline. Put a dot at approximately halfway along the line. This is the apex point. Place the crosshairs of the protractor at the apex and make a dot at the 90 degree mark. Using your ruler, join the apex line and the 90 degree dot with a line that is 10 centimeters long. Place the protractor crosshairs back on the apex. Be careful to line it up accurately. Measure and make a dot every 15 degrees at 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 105, 120, 145 and 160 degrees. Then draw a line 10 centimeters long at each angle, being careful to make sure you line up your ruler each time to ensure the line goes through the apex point. This will give you a better result at the end. We've sped it up a little, but take your time to make sure that you're accurate. That's the hard part done. To make the nodal sundial, place a piece of blue tack or plasticine on the apex point of the base and push a pencil into it. Make sure the pencil is sitting up nice and straight at 90 degrees or perpendicular to the base. Now you can test your sundial. You'll need to take your compass or mobile phone with the compass app outside on a dry, sunny day. You may need some adult help with this. Line up the baseline with the east-west direction using the compass or phone app. The angled lines on the base should be on the south side. Notice where the shadow of the pencil falls on the base and compare it to the time on a watch or clock. Come back and do this a couple of times during the day. Remember that each segment on the base represents a solar hour. How accurate is your sundial compared to a watch or clock? Does the shadow fall in exactly the same place at the same time each day? Perhaps you can research nodal sundials in history and find out who else used them. Thanks for watching this Palms video. Don't forget to watch the next two to make different types of sundials. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, visit the Palms website, palms.edu.au.